Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you've never seen my face before, hello, my name is Alyssa Ray and this is my channel. Take a look around, have a seat. If you like it, subscribe. But if you've been subscribed to me and vibing with me for a minute, then what's good family? How you doing? What's good? <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> Today I have a video for you guys that I am really excited to be filming. I've been on YouTube for about a year and a half already and I can honestly say that it's my passion. And I think that really shows with the content that I put out and the effort that goes into making my videos. I started with zero subscribers, zero knowledge of how this whole YouTube thing works. I mean, I basically started from the bottom. Start it. And I'm nowhere to being here yet, but... I think I'm exactly where I need to be at this point in time, if that makes sense. I decided to make this video because over the past year that I've been on YouTube, I've actually been getting quite a lot of DMs from you guys telling me that, that I inspired you to make a channel and asking me for my advice or any wisdom that I can provide for you. These messages really mean so much to me and I will always respond to any questions you guys have or if you just wanna say hello because your support really does mean a lot to me. But for the people that are too shy to ask or if you're just someone who stumbled upon my video looking for advice, then I'm gonna share with you guys some of my tips and advice on how to start a YouTube channel and just learning about YouTube in general. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, so first and foremost, this is kind of just like a disclaimer. This is something that you really need to think about before you start a channel. You have to ask yourself why you want to start this channel. If it's because you want to be more creative, you want to put your ideas out there, you want to inspire other people, share your passion with other people, or you just like to film videos, whatever. You need to figure out why you want to start that channel. And if you come to find that your answer is solely just because you want to make money or you want to get free PR products, you want to get makeup, you want to get sponsored, you want to get brand deals, honey, <laughs> um, I'm going to break it to you. It's not gonna happen that easily. It's not gonna happen that quick. I always keep it real with you guys, so I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't get monetized. I'm not monetized at the moment, and that is because I don't meet the qualifications because they raised the requirements for monetization. That's another story. <laughs> That's another video. Do I mind that I'm not getting paid for my content at the moment? No, but eventually, um, I would like to get monetized because this is something that I can really see myself doing and loving for the rest of my life. Of course, you want to get paid for doing the things that you love. So if you're doing it because you love it and you also want to get paid for doing something you love, that's awesome. But if you're doing it just for the money, just for the free products, do not do it. Do not make a channel. I'm telling you right now, I'm saving you some time. I'll dive into this later in the video, but YouTube is not as easy as it looks. And one day when you just realize that it wasn't as easy as you thought it was, you're gonna quit and it's just gonna, it's just not gonna be worth it, but okay, it's just not gonna be worth it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about building the courage to start a channel. So usually when people DM me, they say like, oh my God, I wanna start a channel. Like I wanna do something kinda like you but I'm scared, I'm camera shy, I'm awkward in front of the camera, whatever the case may be. <laughs> Whew, should we play a couple snippets of my first video? We'll just, we'll just, you know, for shits and giggles, right? We'll just put a little, little, okay. Okay, let's see your talk, okay. What's up guys? I just wanna start off by saying how extremely excited I am to be okay. here. Pause, I'm gonna pause you right there, sweetie, okay. Bye. If you see how comfortable I am with the camera now, me and that girl right there, like we look like two completely different people. And it's funny because when I filmed that video, I thought I, I looked confident. I thought I looked ready. I thought I was killing it. I was killing something, <laughs> but I wasn't killing the game. So your first video is always gonna be awkward. Just like first times when you do anything your first time. It's, it's awkward, it's weird, it's uncomfortable but it's what's expected. So if you're nervous about starting your channel, you just gotta get over it. You just gotta start. You gotta make that video, you gotta sit down in front of the camera and just start talking. Just start talking like no one's there, like you're talking to the mirror, and I'm sure that you'll do great, okay? I mean, you can't do any worse than this, <laughs> so good luck with that. Another thing that people are really scared of and the reason why they don't want to start a channel is because they see so many of their favorite creators getting a bunch of hate comments and things like that. And I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, I've gotten, I want to say like two actual hate comments saying like, you know, 
some stuff. And then I've gotten a couple like negative ones, but not like anything, you know, horrible. But the thing is when you're starting out, people know that you're new to YouTube, so they're not gonna just pick on you and just tell you like all the things that you're doing wrong. They're gonna give you advice. There's actually a lot of nice people on YouTube and I've met a lot of different creators that like to comment on my stuff. So once you're just starting out, you're not gonna really get any hate comments, so don't really worry about that too much. But if you do, they're just people behind a screen. You want, you know what? I'm gonna show you my first ever hate comment and you're gonna laugh at it because it absolutely makes no sense at all. <laughs> so this hate comment was on my paranormal experience video and they replied to a comment that somebody else left me. So someone commented on this video saying, you are very pretty with a little heart. And I replied, thank you. A month later, this like little five-year-old, I swear to God, five-year-old <laughs> comments on that comment that the girl was saying that I was pretty. And she says, she is so lying. You're a bitch, cunt, sober three-year-old slut. In what world? <laughs> if you don't get your five-year-old ass off the computer, bitch. <laughs> I was just, I like, I didn't understand. <laughs> what is this? Like, I, I just, I didn't know how to respond. And so I click on her profile and she, she uploaded like two videos and she is singing and she just looks like she's five years old. And I'm like, damn, I just got to take that comment then. Like, I'm not going to like cuss out a five-year-old. If someone left me a hate comment like that, I wouldn't even give them the time of day anyway. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to say to like a freaking six-year-old like telling me, like, she just really... <laughs> Anyways, that's besides the point. Okay, so going back to what I was saying about creating content, it's harder than it looks. A lot of people have the misconception that YouTube is such an easy thing to do. It's such an easy hobby. I think what, what they think in their head is that you just sit down, you film a video, and then you just post it to the internet, and it's just like magic. It's just like already edited. But that's not the case, especially for videos that require a lot more intense editing. I, wow, <laughs> I edit a lot. Sometimes it takes all night to edit a video. It really depends on the type of video that I'm doing. It's a lot, it's not easy. I think the thing that makes it so hard though is just life in general. If you're a student, if you go to work, a full-time job, if you have other commitments that you have like on a daily basis, YouTube is not easy. I'll tell you this right now, honey. It's 11.09 p.m. on a Tuesday night. This is yesterday night when you're watching this. After I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna stay up all night editing this video then get it uploaded so it can be ready for you guys to view today at noon. So you're welcome. <laughs> but that's the thing, it, it takes so much more effort than people actually think it does. People always ask me like, how do you make time for YouTube? Like you go to school, you go to work, how do you find the time? And my response is always that I make time. If I'm tired, dude, if it's like five in the morning, I'll be up making a video, editing a video, I'll be writing scripts. And I always say, I do it because it's my passion. I do it because I want to do it. I make time for it because I love to do it. I think that if you don't like doing this or if it's not something that really interests you, you're not really gonna stick with it for long. Find what you like to do. If it works for you, that's great, that's awesome. Then send me your freaking channel link down below and I'll go check you out, okay? Okay, this one is another big one, equipment. When I started out, I had just bought a camera um, that I saved up for. I bought a Canon DSLR T4. 5i something like that and it was expensive but I saved up my paychecks for it and I was really excited about it but previously I had been making videos with like my friends and stuff and and with my sisters as well when I was little um just on a phone just on my iPhone and they were like okay quality in the beginning people don't really look for HD 4k <laughs> camera quality they're looking for a good personality they're looking for someone relatable they're looking for someone that'll make them laugh someone that makes them feel comfortable happy so if you're just starting out I would definitely recommend to not buy anything expensive at the moment just kind of film with what you have. Use natural lighting. That's always a really 
really good idea. I personally have a ring light at the moment. You can always ask for, you know, equipment for gifts and things like that. When I first started my channel, I had two soft boxes that I bought on Amazon. They were like $100. So that was actually a pretty good deal. Now I have a mic, I have my Canon G7X that you know flips up. It's really convenient for me to take on the go as well. If you're just starting out and you don't know if YouTube is for you, you don't know if this is something that you see yourself doing for a very long time, I would not buy $5,000 worth of equipment, backdrops, lighting, etc. Because what if you don't like it? Then you lost like however much money you spent and it's not worth it. Since we're talking about equipment, I might as well mention what I edit with. So like I said before, I've been making videos for quite some time now. And the entire time that I've been making videos, I believe I have only used iMovie and something on the PC. I don't know if it was Window Maker, Windows Makers or Windows, Window Maker. I don't know what it is, guys. I, it's late, so I don't know. I've used iMovie my entire life. If you're not familiar with what iMovie is, it is a software program that is already installed in your MacBook or any type of Apple computer that you get. Um, I think it also comes installed in the iPhone as well as the iPad. So um, it's free, so that's awesome. You can go ahead and use that. Or um, some people like to use Final Cut Pro. Personally, I've played around with it, but I never really like got too deep into it where I you know, knew how to maneuver every which way. So it was kind of confusing for me and it wasn't what I was used to. So I just kind of like push it to the side. But um, yes, I use iMovie and honestly it works wonders. It does basically everything you need it to do. If you're just starting out, I really suggest iMovie. It's perfect. Another really big thing when you're starting a YouTube channel is to be consistent. Consistency is key. You'll hear it all the time. Everyone says it, but it's the truth. I make it a point to upload at least once every week. There was a point in time, I believe it was like when I was like on summer vacation or something, where I uploaded two times a week, which was amazing, but not all of us have the time to be doing that. I would recommend doing at least once a week, no less than that. If you want to do more, if you have time to do more, I would definitely suggest maybe like three times a week, but I don't think any more than three is necessary. People will just get kind of bored of you. They'll kind of just be like, why is she posting so much? Something that will probably be very beneficial to you is learning how to network and learning how to build relationships in the YouTube community. So what I mean by this is commenting on other people's videos, telling them that you liked their content, that you liked that certain video, that you subscribed, letting them know, hey, I'm here. And then every time they post, consistently comment and give them feedback. Because if you just comment on someone's page and you're just like, hey, sub for sub, and then you just don't like comment back ever, or you just don't like, you just unsubscribe, like that's not cool first of all. But secondly, <laughs> it's not really gonna build you any friendships. So you definitely need to learn how to network. You need to learn how to make friends. So this next piece of advice is if you've already started your channel and you've already built friendships and stuff and you have like a good subscriber count, um, every time your subscribers comment on one of your videos, I would definitely suggest to interact with them. You definitely need a lot of interaction to let them know like, hey, I appreciate you. Just reply to their comment or give it a like, whatever. But I would definitely say to respond to every comment. That's how you network. That's how you build friendships. All right, you guys, I could honestly sit here and give you so much more tips and advice and tricks and just teach you. Like, I just need a whole board back here. So I need, I need a whiteboard, some Expo markers. And honestly, I could, there's a lot that I have to say. Too much to say, in fact. So if you guys have any other questions about about anything at all, if it's monetization, if it's copyright, how the music works, how to edit, anything like that, go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. I will do my best to get back to you and answer any questions that you guys have. Or if you guys want me to do a part two to this and talk about some tea, <laughs> talk about everything, dude, then um, let me know as well. Give this video a thumbs up so I know. All in all, I really hope that this helps someone. I really hope that if you guys are thinking about starting a channel or you know someone that wants to start a channel, that this helped you in any way or, you know, kind of motivated you to 
get your little head start, your fresh little start. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single Wednesday. Also make sure to hit that tiny little notification bell down below so you can be notified every single time I upload. If you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they will all be linked down below as well as my second channel. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye!